hello guys we are back here we want to add or we want to make a scene okay a very easy scene and we move that i mean we go in the edit mode which is here okay in the modeling section we play around with this one and we get a very nice looking exterior okay and during this journey we will using all the technique that we are we, we are going to learn all the technique and tools that we are need for our journey so so that's it. so here we want to uh so let me just delete that one instead of the cube we add a plane okay and we make that a little bit bigger if we just open up this menu instead of two we can set five okay like so and here actually we'll learn how to split our window in two parts if you just grab here it will move like so for example if you hold go your mouse over this area it will you see a cross okay and just drag and left to right you see this one and up and down you see this kind of effect and you just go over your mouse on this boundary and right click you will you see this option join area okay join area again you can do that for all of these corners so this corner drag and the left okay so now we can for example this way i want to add a camera okay so we add a camera shift a shift a or maybe from here for this end and we have a camera and we added the camera but where is our camera okay yeah that's here exactly where we our through the cursor is located so if you just press zero on your numpad you are looking from the camera but how you can if you rotate that it will get rid of that it will cancel that so press zero again and press n or click here to open up this sidebar so this is the toolbar actually and this is the sidebar and click on view and we have something here for camera to view okay and now you see a, a yellow or maybe orange color around our camera so press n and now if you zoom back you can see you can see what that you are looking from the camera and you are moving look on this camera you will move that okay so set that at the level which you think that's fine i think here is fine maybe we want to tweak some of the setting for this camera okay now if we just click here we see the camera setting okay and you, this all things call for properties okay we are going to uh, tell those uh in the course or, or in, in the learning journey okay so if you just click on this icon this camera icon which called for render now we are using the render uh engine ev for render engine okay so and this one like a printer we can choose our resolution okay so think that this gonna be a um, yeah that's full hd is fine okay 24 per frame you can use but in this case we are going to uh, take a still image okay so i'm gonna tell you those later when we are uh, trying to render a complete scene okay so that's it so now we have two of you one to see uh what's going on here and the other so just turn that off as well if you see if you turn that off you don't see anything but we have those here available so here is good for modeling and here is nice for seeing our results okay and um, what i'm gonna do is grab this part okay so now we are going to the edit mode now here we have the object and here we have the edit edit mode if you just select this uh floor or we can name that floor floor okay i mean floor or ground whatever you call it, it's fine okay so just select those and delete okay maybe we want to add a uh, sun okay sun maybe and here i want to give that a color okay so we added a sun 
this is our sun and i want to rotate that a little bit in this direction okay or maybe from from here i want to rotate that at this direction we can uh, correct the uh, rotation for the sun later okay so now this is very flat i'm gonna add a give that a material so click here on this properties which called material properties okay and click on new okay we can name that floor as well and we change this uh, color to uh, a little bit of yellowish okay and we can select the sun from here or from here and go here and strength we're gonna set to five or maybe three okay and even we can give that a color, okay? Yeah, that's fine. A little bit of yellowish color because the sun isn't always white. Maybe sometimes that's red. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is add a, or maybe that's fine, okay, that's fine. So we just press tab or we go to the edit mode, okay? Now we see some new things going on here. So if you just, drag from here to the left we see more view here okay and i just select that one okay so that's fine and we see the view over here okay so if i just drag this one i, I want to make a wall okay from here so i just press look at here one as you can see here two three one for vertex two for edge and three for face one as you can see vertex i just g and drag those two edge and three for face we have one face only so two for edge e extrude that and upward okay that's fine i think so okay and we have a wall okay and what i'm gonna do is I want to make that uh, separate, okay? So I want to this part of this part can be separate, okay? Select the face, okay? Now we are selecting the face. As you can see here, we have the face. Here we have face. Okay, so press Z and solid, and press P. P for what? P for selection, okay? Selection. And now if we again if we press Tab, we go to the edit mode. We see. Object mode and edit mode, okay? So what we can do is we add a little bit of depth, okay? So I'm just gonna turn my cavity and shadow and I just, instead of uh, studio, I try to using madcap and this studio light. Yeah, it gives me a nicer look. So now from here, uh, we are going to using the modifier, okay? So here we have the list of modifier if I press add, so that's, the, the solidify is very useful in this case okay so the thickness i'm gonna give that a little bit of thickness like so mm, yeah about one point yeah point one point one it's fine okay yeah so now we have two parts here and here even we can give the floor as well a thickness a solidify modifier but that's fine okay so uh, now we can add a stair here okay so what we learn is shift and right click it will move the 3d cursor at that location or you can select the 3d cursor from here and move that and then select the select box now whatever if i uh, adding a new material or new i mean object it will move that at that location so we scale that s for scale okay guys s for scale and s in x axis okay so we'll look from here we press three look from here and we maybe scale that in z axis s z and we press g to move that okay and we set that here okay guys so as you can see we have something here so now we want to make an stair, uh, a stair, I mean. So press three. In this case, we are going to use the array modifier, okay? 
this is the array modifier. And as you can see, the default is like so. It will make that three times, okay? One, two, three, four. So we don't want to make that array in X axis, but instead we want to make that in Y axis and in Z axis. Okay, as you can see, one and Z. Okay, guys, so press three. Y, make that a little bit smaller. Okay, like so. Or we maybe, now if I press just tab, we, we have one object, but because of the modifier, it will array that, it will duplicate that in uh, this count number that we give that. So S, in, scale that in uh, Y, okay, like so. Oh, that's fine, I think, that's fine. So just give that a little bit of, uh, yeah, seven may be nice. Yes, yeah, seven is fine. Okay, so we maybe need to scale that a little bit in this case. Okay. Okay, so I think, I think I want to make that a little bit bigger. So I just select, hold on shift and select this part and S in X axis, okay, like so. Okay, guys. Uh, so that's it. So what I'm gonna do is add a hole on this wall, okay? Add a hole. How are we gonna do the hole? So press N. I mean, I'm sorry. Press one. Okay, press one. Look from this this uh, negative Y and hold on Shift and right click to move your 3D cursor. Okay. And now Shift A to add a new circle. So we can, we can give that a little bit higher number. Mm, maybe just, I'll, I want to show you, for example, as you can see, this is not a higher number, okay? Okay, you see that this is not round. If I just duplicate that, for example, um, I mean, uh, multiplied by two, okay? Which is 64, okay? Now that's much rounded. So now, um we can use the r rotation or a line in view which we are looking from here okay and its uh, rotation in x-axis should be 90 degrees which this one okay now if i just uh, again align with 90 degrees exactly so we want to make a door okay okay so um let me make like so shift s Selection to cursor, okay. Gee, I'm sorry, uh, cursor to select it, and this one selection to cursor, okay. Now we have an exactly, uh, I want to match, okay. I want to match this circle with this line here. So now G, Z, Z around here, that's fine, okay. So now we have. See something like that. So now from here, from this side, I want to set that uh, exactly at the wall. So move that at the wall. G Y. As you can see now, we don't need to set that on global. I mean, in local. So we set that on <clears throat> global and bounce and bounding box center. So G Y. That's fine here. So press one and go to the wireframe mode. Press set wireframe mode okay so press tab now and we press one for vertex and we see the vertexes so we have the select box select and delete these faces okay x and delete the vertex i mean so select now this part okay and e here we have the extrude e for extrude okay if you just select this one and drag this uh big plus downward it will extrude okay so here we need to extrude just and we want to close those two what should we do yeah um, that's just press f or j so in this case j uh, doesn't work but f okay or control z shortcut for that is f press f to fill that f for fill okay so uh, again, G, Z, a little bit downward so that it will match, okay, with our stair. So now we have this door. 
kind of tool. But this is just a line, okay? We need to fill that. So select everything and press F again to fill that. Now it filled with a solid, okay? So now, as we did before, we can add a solidify modifier, okay? And the solidify modifier, its job is like so, okay? Or we can make that by selecting everything and press the extrude and press along the, okay, extrude that again. But I think that the solidify modifier is much useful because we can tweak the thickness at each, uh, every, every time we want, okay? So select again and make that a little bit bigger so that we can see that from here, okay? So that's it. Or maybe uh, make that this one bigger, 0.2, okay? And we have this one, if we press look at from the top, this one, maybe we need to come about the center, okay? So now we have two things, so door and this wall. And how are we gonna make the hole? Yeah, that's simple. We just need an, another, another um, modifier which called Boolean. But first we need to apply that. So let me, without apply, we just testing if, we, if it's work. So we add the Boolean for that wall, not for the door, okay? So that's it. Um, uh, let me I use the cycle for, for the rendering and GPU if you have a good graphic card, okay? So that we can see a nicer result here. Okay, yeah, now I think that's much better. Press N and uh, here we maybe need to select the camera and orthographic we maybe need to use orthographic in this case okay other oh, perspective is works fine okay so that's it guys mm, yeah about here is fine i think the yeah, the stairs need to be a little bit like so okay so g uh, in y grab that a little bit backward Okay, guys so that's it. so that's it. so now we select the um, wall okay select the wall and for the object we we click here and select the door we name that door okay so this is gonna be wall wall okay so is from here you just click on um, door or Select this water dropper and just select that one, okay? And if you just go to the wireframe mode, we see something will happen here. So if you just select this door and we go to the wireframe, I mean, um, object properties, and we scroll here to visibility, and I mean to the visibility viewport display, and display as wire, okay? Now we see that we got the hole, okay? Got the hole, and if I just uh, show in render and disable showing in render and the viewport, we see that hole here. Okay, very nice. I actually want to set the same material for the stair as well, which is this one. Okay, and I want to add one thing, one more thing here. Okay, so I just select press, so I just select this one. Okay, so. Um, one more thing that I want, I want to show you is the numpad slash here yeah, on your keyboard. If you, if you put numpad slash, it will just focus on that object, okay? So I just press 2, go to the edit mode, and select this part, and shift S, cursor to select it, okay? And now I add another cube right there, okay? And make that very small, just make that small, okay? And now S in X axis. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So now press here uh, and number the slash, number the period, I mean, G, Z. Make that a little bit upper. Okay. Now we see these cool things. Okay. Uh, now again, number the slash and in a solid mode. 
so that's too big i think okay we can scale that again a little bit and s for and scale that in x-axis again and press and look from here oh that's a little bit missing so select that and set that on the floor now so give that the floor material so all of these have has the floor material right now okay so here for this face guys i just you see this jagged things i don't want to see if you you just need to shade that is smooth so right click shade smooth and you see this bad result so no problem just go over here object data properties and click on normal and auto smooth and it will make that everything is smooth no problem okay but we see still these things right here but maybe not in the viewport so one more thing is that we just apply all the solid all the material or the modifiers okay so press and apply if you don't have this add-on no problem you just that add-on is great because if you have one or six uh i mean modifier and you don't want to go here and apply one by one um so you just need to install that add-on that's free for plain so no problem we don't need for example you think that you haven't this option right here okay uh you just click here and apply okay now we have applied the solid for you and this is the part of this wall right now and if i just apply this one as well okay and if i just uh go to the yeah here and we turn that in report back okay and this one in solid we don't need longer that one okay so we maybe need to hide that or maybe we need to delete that so delete okay we use that for make a hole here okay and now we don't need that anymore and even the stair we maybe need to apply those as well because i want to this stair will continue and we don't we can't continue those so apply and you see now that's before okay that's before this is just one object okay and if you, after applying you see that we are access to move each part uh, separately so i'm gonna select this one here okay and e remember you can click here and extrude okay so number the slash to focus on that e uh, okay you select from here or the shortcut for that is just e okay press e and you can select that one so number the slash again so so easy and we maybe need to g and y a little bit so train this one yeah g and e a little bit. hold on shift and so i want to replace an image here okay so for for making that we need to go to the shading okay so now i have a um, image here okay and i want to replace that here okay so select this part okay all of this wall has one material but i want to add a different material material just for this wall this interior so uh, select here and add another material and new and assign okay so as you can see it has a white material and it can change its color okay yeah i have an image so and i connect this one to the base color and that's not uh, we are not seeing the image right now that's because uh we need to go to the edit uv editing okay and this is an image from the jesus christ peace be upon him okay so press numpad period to zoom on that surface and press u cube projection and we have that now so we need to correct that or maybe we need to you again project from view that's much better okay project from view press numpad one and you looking from this side from the orthographic negative y orthographic and you just press project from view and you will project from view here okay so that's very important guys you do have remember you do have to remember all this stuff that i told you okay okay so that's it oh by the way i need to save my project so now 
Okay. Uh, if I just click, I'm, I mean, on Numpad, uh, let me click on view, camera to view, make your position for the camera, okay, and go to the render mode. And we see, and if you just click here on this show overlays, we see this cool and nice thing, okay? So we maybe need to change or play around with the camera. Here, I want to add an HDRI, okay? I have this Easy HDRI add-on, but if you, if you haven't, no problem. Actually, there is two kind of lighting. One is, is the Blender lighting, which if I just click here, we go to the layout, okay, press one button zero and i just turn it on this shortcut viewer so if if you press shift a we see a bunch of light here okay we have point light sunlight spotlight and area if i add one for example a point light as you can see here in the properties uh, section we have the light okay so, uh, and here we have the point, sun, spot, and area. Already I have a sun as well. And as you can see, if I just click here to uh, show my overlays, now we have here one sunlight. The sun, it works actually as a real sun as we have in real world. So the strength, if we um, set a higher number for the strength, it gives us much, for example, powerful number. As you can see here, now we see a much brighter uh, light from the sun. But I just keep that low, for example, three. And the point, as you can see, it works. If I just change that sun to the point, you can see that it uh, it's here still, but its power is too low, and we don't see its effect. And this one, as you can see, under the underneath of the stairs is the new sunlight. I mean, the new point light that I added just. Okay. So here we can change the color for each of the lights. Okay. I go with this color. It's nice for this color. And here we have the power, as I mentioned, and the radius. The radius actually um, explain that how much big uh, of area you want to this light will affect that area if it's one meter two meter or less than that as you can see now it is this is one and a half meter okay so if i just bring that down the whole okay for example about here we see a much brighter okay but this one will just affect this small area and if you just make the radius a little bit bigger, and then we need to make the power as well a little bit stronger. Okay. Now we see it will affect, it will brighten, bright up uh, a bigger area. Okay. So that's it. So we just, so we are not going to use the point light in this case, but maybe spotlight. Or actually, this uh, spotlight uh, works a little bit different, as you can see. This is like a spot, okay? And here we have the area, an area, and here we have kind of uh, any uh, shape, I mean, different shape, square, rectangle, disc, ellipse. You can just play around. So if you just set up a spotlight, and you maybe need to increase, I mean, decrease the radius, Okay, and we maybe need to play around with this, maybe 500. Okay. And here we have as well something. If you just scale that, okay, you just press S and scale that. Now we want to, this one will affect just this area, okay? And now if we set our sun, from the point to the sun actually we don't see that so 
in this um, exterior, we actually don't need that kind of light, okay? Because here we see that that's too bright, okay? Or maybe if we just set our sun to a lower number, like one, we see that effect. But in this case, I just wanted to show you and explain you about the lights, okay? And you can just duplicate the lights from Shift D. You can duplicate that from here, okay? And you can make uh, this cool stuff. So I just delete those, okay? And I just set that to number three. So that's lighting, okay? The other method for lighting is adding HDRI. So I just bring HDRI. So actually there is a lot of uh, websites that offer free HDRI. One of the famous of those is HDRI Heaven. Okay, you can check that out and download one of those. So for the HDRI, we are going to the shading. And here we have the node, nodes, okay? Instead of object, click and choose the world. And here we have, as you can see, this grayish color for the background is here actually. Okay, we can change that. And we can, it actually, if we just turn off our sun, as you can see, I just turn that off and we don't see any light. And I just play around with this HDRI, you see that it will affect on our object. So, but this is not an HDRI, okay? So we, we are going to add a real. HDRI is a 360 um, image, 360 degrees image, okay? Which um, looks like this one, for example, okay? As you can see, 360. You can make, um, you can photograph yourself, okay, take a photo. And you can make that in uh, Photoshop as well, HDRI. You can search on your YouTube how you can make HDRI on um, Photoshop. And there is a lot of cool tutorial that you can find. So as you can see, we have this HDRI, but uh, that's too low. The strength is very low. So we set five and you can see, if you look at it from the camera, press zero, that's too bright, yeah? So three, fine. But this, we can change that at any time, okay? And here is my pack that I downloaded from the HDRI Heaven, most of those, and those are free. Okay, so for example, I select this one and you, can, you see the different effects, okay? If I just press Ctrl and T, because I have enabled one add-on called Add this add-on call for, um, yeah, node wrangler. You can check that, okay? That's really useful. And then when you check that, then save that so that you have always. So again, delete those, click here, and then Control and T, press Control and T, as you can see here. This give you uh, a control, a fastest control, okay, over your HDRI. So here we have the rotation for Z. If I just rotate that, you, s you sh probably should see that our HDRI as well will rotate. So let me just make that a little bit bigger. Turn. Yeah, it will affect. Maybe we try another HDRI. Mm. Something like, like, yeah, that one. Why not? So five, set on five. We we'll play around with this one. Mm, yeah, we we'll maybe need to change this one. So instead of UV, we click on generated, okay? So that's too important. And as you can see now, here we have the HDRI, okay? That I loaded now. So now if I just press Z axis for the rotation, you see that it will rotate. Okay, guys. So look at from here and we choose an angle that 
match our photo, match our lighting. So that's one of the way that you can work with HDRI. So um, I just find a sunny day, maybe this one. Oh no. Maybe this one. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so just try to have it. As you can see here, I, I, I'm I losing my shadow. And the sun actually comes from this direction. And we have the shadow here, okay? And my number is 400. So I want to... The sun comes from this direction, as we had for our sunlight, okay? And now actually we can turn the sun on and we can use both. HDRI plus the sun. So now we see this cool effect. Okay. And if I just render that out. So now it's time for rendering. Okay. So I just done this one. And the next video I'm going to model. Um, so th this one. Really complete. Uh, I mean really beginner tutorial. So in the next chapter. We're going to make another things. Another um, things with Blender, but a little bit uh, in higher um, level, okay? So, layout, back to the layout, we see this effect, okay? Just rotate our HDRI. And you can, of course, play around with your HDRI, for example, press three, uh, 0, and play, in this case, with X, okay? Or maybe Y. That's really up to you, what how you want to control. So here for strength, and you need to connect the generator, okay? And actually there is an add-on called press N. I have that add-on is and that's name is Easy HDRI. That's really cool. And um, if I just select my HDRIs, for example, one pack that I have here indoor, for example, oh. Like the blender crashed. Okay. So sadly, I didn't record that. I mean, uh, uh, everything because of blender crashing. So no problem. I told you what are you gonna do? Okay. So here we have an um, add-on called Easy HDRI. So so I just give that to the address. And indoor, I have select. So there is something wrong with that one, I think. So I just accept from here, okay? I have this HDRI. When you click on create, it will create your HDRI, okay? And now, how many HDRI you have in your folder, it will show you. For example, you want to select this HDRI, okay? Or you want to select. The other one, for example, this one. So here, here is really, really fast. I like this uh, add-on because of its work. And you can just control from here, okay? Maybe in Z direction, yeah. As you can see, if we just turn off the sun, just look at the shadow from the stair, how it, yeah. You see how it, how cool is that? Okay, so that's it. Okay, and here we have the sun strength. We can set that on um, three, and the, the sky five. It will brighten that up. Okay, I just keep it for one, both here, and here, or maybe I want to use my own uh, sky number two, maybe, or maybe here a little bit. That's the bright. So that's it. Easy HDRI. If you can find that, um, search on. In YouTube, is sure and download that. Maybe you can, you need to purchase that. Okay, so that's really great. So that's it. Now it's time for rendering. Okay, so we have a camera. We we'll select on camera. If you want to um, play around with this setting, for example, we have the focal length. As you can see, you can focus on an object. Okay, we have the perspective and orthographic, as I told you. Okay. If I just change my view here. So this is the orthographic camera that works 
like so. Perspective. Okay. We maybe uh, want to go with the orthographic in this time for rendering. You can choose whatever you want. I think here is too bright. Okay. So I just set that on point, maybe point three. Yeah, point three. And the sun in one. Okay. Because I want to see here. So actually, what we can do is we can add another light here, uh, area light, for example. Okay. And we change its uh, rotation in this direction. Okay. And we can, in the yeah, in the wireframe mode, we scan that in X axis. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, in Z axis. Yeah, solid mode. Okay, and now render mode. So as you, as you can see, that's too strong. So we maybe need to change its color. So click on Sun and click here and go to the hex and copy that one. Or you just can come here set your mouse over this color and control C, it will copy that color. And here control V. Okay. And now we have the same hex. I mean, same. Yeah. Same hex for this color as well. Okay. So we can set that here and we just rotate that in normal. Okay. Individual and normal. You learned uh, already how it works okay so this is the normal okay so from here and in normal yeah so now if we look through the camera and we maybe need to set that on five or even 20 20 is too much six is five Okay, maybe three. That's because we want to see that effect for a stair. It will, uh, it will look separated. This part, this is there as here from the wall. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, and now we can work on our wall as well. Okay, here we see too bright. So actually, this is the foot of uh, Jesus Christ, Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And we can, yeah, from here, we can play around the roughness and a specular. And as well from here, we set the roughness on one and a specular on one, okay? So now we take a render. So click here for rendering. Here we have the cycle we want to, so click here to, to get rid of those overlays. So we set that on, on cycle. EV as well. Uh, EV is great, but for a still image, it's great if you set on cycle because it looks much realistic. The next is uh, here we have the sample. This cool thing. So if you turn on the denoising for your viewport, you see directly here the any noise. Okay, it will calculate under one second. And get rid of the, this noise so that's great to turn that on but here is the viewport viewport that we are looking here now but for rendering is here so turn that on okay and sample here is too high we just set that on 124 okay so that it don't take too long time for rendering okay and the next thing that i will show you is the film actually is if you want to see this green, if you don't want to see that, okay, and you want to see that as an still image, so you just click on the film and click on transparent. But in, the, in this case, we don't need that. And then we have here the color management. The film is great. Some some guys will set that on a standard, and some uh, people will set that on filmic and then a higher value. For example, here. It's up to you. So here we comparison, filmic, and standard. Okay. Standard with a lower, maybe with a medium number. Okay. Filmic. 
interest. So both is the same thing. Hire, give us this effect. So now everything is set up and we jump up uh, onto the money, this printer. So we have set a resolution. Here we can choose the resolution and here we have some presets, okay, already. If you just select one of those, it will. Uh, for example, here we have the full HD and here the resolution. If you set that on 300, it will make this one three times bigger, okay? Uh, I mean, it will be much, much uh, bigger and uh, higher resolution, yeah. Actually, this is talking about the resolution and if you want to print a banner or a bigger uh, picture, so you just need to scale, for example, multiply the y th by three. Okay, and now you have this kind of things like banner. So night and training is fine for now. And here we have the frame rate. If you want to take a render animation, okay, take a render of movie. So you need to set up which frame you want to calculate. Actually, this is by default 24. And here uh, from start to the end, how many frame you want to render. Maybe this is 2000, not 250. So you need to make your number higher 2000 for example okay and now you have a higher number and 2000 uh, divided by 2000 200 uh, i mean 24 divided by 2000 how many second it, it gonna be okay so you need to calculate for example if you have 2000 we want to uh calculate how many seconds it's going to be. So it's going to be 83 seconds, which is one uh, minute and a few seconds. So that's it. We are not going to use that. And here we have the output. OK, uh, you just select where you want to save that render image or render video. OK, the video is much uh, important and the format file format. We have the video format and we have the image sequence. Okay, we have the open EXR as well, which you can use in Photoshop for compositing. And here we have the PNG or JPEG. I, I always, or maybe sometimes, I said that on PNG when I'm rendering. Okay, and we, here we have the color depth. So now if we just click here, we see the render image, render animation. So we are going to set on render image and it will take a few seconds you can see that we have the sample 124 not too big and it will calculate now 112 sample has gone and just 10 of those so it's finished 21 second and took this um, megabyte of memory one frame just for one frame okay and that's good i think our, our image isn't high quality, so that's fine. Okay. So now if you want to save that, so click here and save as. And you can just save that uh, image one, image one. Okay. I just save that here. Image. Yeah. And here we have the PNGs. Okay. From here you can choose PNG or EXR. So that's it. Okay. So one cool thing that will uh, make your image or make your art a little bit uh, greater. Okay. So first, um, I just change that camera. I mean, the resolution to something like a post for Instagram, maybe. Okay. So you can just play around with those and you give a great result. Okay. So that's up to you and I just select this angle and I just added a cube I, I mean a, a, a UV sphere okay and you can add whatever you want actually for example and I just give that okay a color so but this is not the point the point is that make now everything is flat everything has it flat light and we're gonna 
add a shadow. Okay, so we're going to select zero to get rid of the camera view. So we have a plane here. I just duplicate that Shift D and set it here. Okay, and now already, if you look how cool things here is bright and here is the dark, but that's not enough. We just want to rotate that in this direction as a sun direction. Okay, we match that with the sun direction and we escape that in x axis in the uh, local. Okay, and now if we look how cool is that? Yeah, we maybe need to move that a little bit in this direction. Okay, and now we can set our her light a little bit higher maybe we play around with our sun three now that's much cooler okay maybe two yeah okay guys so that is one of the thing that i wanted to <clears throat> show you before making this video finish okay so that's a little bit of more realism so thank you and have a great time